Dajia Hao, Waldemings Shimading. <laughs> it's great to be here today. China is the country with the most Flutter developers. Hundreds of millions of people use the apps that you have created here. And today, we're really excited to share some of these partner stories and have some of the partners actually come up on stage and tell it themselves firsthand. So I'm first going to give a quick recap of what Flutter is and share some updates on our momentum and some of our new features. Then I will talk about some of our partner stories. And we'll also look forward into the Chinese developer community with Flutter. So what is Flutter? Flutter is Google's portable UI toolkit to build native compiled applications for mobile, web, and desktop from a single code base. So what makes Flutter very different from many other toolkits is these four characteristics that we believe make Flutter a very unique toolkit, which is beautiful, fast, productive, and open. So first, we say that Flutter is beautiful. That's because with Flutter, you have control over every pixel on the screen. So as you can see in the animation behind me, this is a very complex animation. It's very beautifully designed. And with Flutter, it's actually quite easy to do. We also provide you with a widget, uh, you know, library of widgets that are customizable, both Cupertino and Material, so you don't have to do everything from scratch. Secondly, Flutter is fast. Uh, it's powered by Skia, which is an open source 2D graphics engine. And it can handle all these custom animations that many times run over 60 frames per second, as you can see in the example behind me. Thirdly, Flutter is productive. And this is one of the features the developers love most about Flutter, which many of you might have already heard of, which is called Hot Reload, which lets you make a change in your code and see it appear in the app in less than a second. As you can see in the example behind me, we're changing the word clicked to pushed. And as soon as you press that hot reload button, it immediately changes. You also can update the business logic. So we're changing it now from it to count upwards to count downwards. And as you can see, it does that as well. So if you take one thing out of this talk today, when you go back home, it's that you should go to Flutter and try hot reload, because it's a very cool experience. Lastly, Flutter is open. We are an open source uh, product, so it's open for anyone to contribute, to extend, um, and it's free as well. And so we've seen some incredible contributions even here in China, and we encourage you to continue doing that, and we thank you for that. As you can see, Flutter has a lot to offer, and we've been seeing a tremendous growth since the release of 1.0. Overall, I'm really proud to share that the number of Flutter users has actually doubled since we released Flutter 1.0 last December. And we are now in the top 15 repos on GitHub. Also, Flutter was voted third in terms of most loved toolkits worldwide. And we have over 2,000 quality packages in the Flutter ecosystem. Also, LinkedIn is listing Flutter as the fastest growing skill among software engineers. But here in China specifically, we, re we receive a tremendous amount of growth from our Chinese developers. As Zoe mentioned in the keynote, um, Flutter, uh, China is uh, Flutter's biggest market, with one-fifth of all developers from Flutter here in China. So I want to sincerely thank you um, for your trust and love of Flutter, because we really would not have been able to achieve any of these results without your help. So, xie xie. Also, today's a really exciting day, because we officially announced Flutter 1.9. This has things like support for macOS Catalina and Xcode 11. Also, we launched Dart 2.5 alongside Flutter 1.9, and other things like 24 new languages. But one of the most exciting things about this release is that we've also made a big improvement on Flutter running on the web. So previously, in order to have iterations while keeping the core Flutter repo stable, we were developing Flutter on the web in a fork of the Flutter repo. But as of today, we've merged the web code into a core repository of Flutter. So you'll have a single SDK with one set of widgets that work across all platforms. So now let's shift to talk about companies using Flutter for various reasons. And you can see some examples in this slide. So let's take a deep dive into this. You got a sneak peek of a short version of a video we filmed with Tencent during the keynote. 
But today, here, I want to show you the director's cut, the full version of it, because I think it's a very powerful story that shows how one company has bet on Flutter through various parts of their business. Let's take a look. Tengxun 旗下的产品团队为数众多，但都有一个共同的目标：为每一位用户打造美丽的、流畅的、与他人相连的体验。无论用户是在使用什么设备。也无论用户是在学习、旅行，还是在分享精彩、享受生活，亦或是在事业上全身心投入。做英语君完全是从零开始，教育的产品功能复杂，但是我们只有三个月的开发时间，五位开发者，其实想要完成 iOS、安卓两个端上，从 Phone 到 Pad 各种尺寸上的适配，真的是非常困难。闹直播的安卓和 iOS 实现差异比较大。我们迫切需要一个能覆盖移动端、外部以及更多场景的大前端方案。企业辅导之前使用的跨平台框架运行起来效率不太理想，占用的内存也很多。范逸君有自己的迭代速度，我们需要有新的开发框架，但节奏最好能自己把握。起点的既有产品服务于商业用户，我们想引入更好的框架，但它不能太影响已有的应用。应当的设计迭代很多，但以前却需要我们的开发实现两次。好在 Flutter 的学习曲线并不陡峭，上手还是挺容易的。我们现在觉得让产品转而使用 Flutter 加 Dart 完全可行。在使用 Flutter 之后，我们有百分之九十以上的代码是跨平台的。在需求和设计变化之后，跨平台的代码只需要修改一次，两个平台都可以使用。我们百分百使用 Flutter 开发的英语君，就因为精良的用户体验和视觉效果，获得 App Store 编辑的连续推荐。屏幕适配能力真的很强，从 iPhone SE 到 iPad， 还有各种尺寸的安卓的平板，这些都没有问题。而且我们还用了不少矢量和动画资源，包括 SVG、图标字体和 Flare， 这些在 Flutter 上都运行得很流畅，轻松上到每秒六十帧，调试效率提高百分之八十，人力节省三分之一，而且大台语法相对比较简单，一般一到两周便可以上手开发，团队内部推广法的阻力非常小。现在我们已经在一些二级页面使用了 Flutter， 能让我们按照自己的节奏进行迭代，也保证了应用品质。应用里用 Flutter 做的页面非常稳定，基本消除了崩溃现象。我们很看好 Flutter， 而且在用了 Flutter for Web 之后，更是决定用 Flutter 来承担我们的大前端战略。我们现在已经搭建了比较完整的原生加 Flutter 混合工程体系，未来会逐步在更多的独立页面上使用 Flutter， 这个灵活性对我们很重要。希望能更融入 Flutter 社区吧。我们使用了很多别人写的开源组件，也希望将来能够贡献一些代码回去，让更多的开发者喜欢上 Flutter。好的产品都是迭代出来的，更好的界面、更流畅的体验，甚至更多样化的使用场景，都离不开高效的迭代，而 Flutter 让这些成为可能。So now I want to introduce Song Fei, a senior engineer from Tencent, to share more about this story firsthand. Welcome. Thank you, Martin. Hello, I'm Song Fei. I'm from the Tencent English Team. In the Tencent 在腾讯旗下呢，已经有多款 App 使用 Flutter 进行了开发。嗯，我们英语君 App 呢是使用纯 Flutter 开发的一款 App， 它有着非常漂亮的 UI 和非常复杂的交互逻辑。Flutter 基于 Widget UI 框架，能够非常方便的完成复杂的 UI 布局，清晰的层次结构，也方便我们抽象出各种 UI 组件来实现复用。Flutter 对矢量资源支持非常好，我们项目里面全部使用了 SVG 的矢量资源。这也就让我们可以用一套资源，同时适配了从小屏手机一直到十二寸的大 Pad。做 UI 开发呢，还有一个比较痛的点就是动画。之前我们用代码来编写动画，需要和设计师反复的调整细节，才能达到设计师的要求。在 Flutter 里面呢，我们使用了 Flare。设计师现在只要在 Flare 的动画编辑器里面完成它的设计，然后导出文件，我们就可以直接在项目当中引用。这样也是大大的减少了我们开发同学和设计师的一个沟通的成本。Flutter 的插件机制非常高效，能把我们的 native 的能力，比如说我们英语君里面的口语评测的能力，能够快速的连接到 Flutter 里面去。
另外 Flutter 的生态也越来越完善，有着非常多的高质量的第三方插件出现在了 Pub 仓库里面。我们项目也使用了很多的第三方插件，这也大幅的提升了我们的开发效率。我们的项目呢已经上线了一年多的时间了，然后现在呢我来 review 一下我们这个项目，做了一些简单的统计。在我们的项目里面，有百分之九十以上的代码是拿 Dart 语言编写的，这也就意味着我们有百分之九十以上的代码是可以同时运行在安卓和 iOS 平台的。其实我们说代码复用，不仅仅是说节省了开发同学在写代码的时间，还有就是在测试、修改 bug， 还有产品有一些需求变更，我们要处理需求变更的时间。正因为是我们大量的这种代码的复用，才让我们 u n i t y a m p 在短短的三个月的时间，我们只用了五位的开发同学。从零开始完成了第一个版本的上线，所以在这儿真的非常感谢 Google， 感谢 Flutter 团队做出了这么棒的框架来加速我们的迭代。好，谢谢大家，马婷。Thank you. We've seen many other large companies like Tencent build things from scratch with Flutter. One example of this is the Baidu team. The recently released Baidu internal was built only with Flutter. This app is available for both Android and iOS on iPhone and iPad. They claim that with Flutter, app development becomes considerably more productive. Their four-member team spent only two months to roll out the app from scratch to the first version, and they are currently on version 1.0.5. So you should go check it out. One of our pillars we stated earlier is beautiful. Designs today are all very customized, and many of the top apps that have received awards or a lot of engagement are ones like these that, as you can see, are very brand-driven. You know, there you can see our team member Matt, who's giving a talk later, kind of waving to you.、Uh, he has his own widget with his alligator friend,、um, and he'll be in the keynote stage right after this. So you should go check out his talk.、Um, but some designs like this and these custom animations, like widget Matt,、um, are very possible with Flutter, and they allow your app to be a lot more beautiful. Um, and one of the categories of apps that cares a lot about beauty is a company, ByteDance, which has taken the world by a storm with many of their popular apps like TikTok. And it's an honor to welcome Yuanshuo Zhu from ByteDance to share their story on all the apps they're currently building with Flutter. Welcome. Hello, 大家好。呃，我叫朱元硕，来自字节跳动，负责客户端基础技术。今天呢，非常高兴能够来到这里，向大家分享一下 Flutter 在字节跳动的应用情况。目前我们公司旗下的今日头条、西瓜视频、TikTok、Hello， 还有 Tobuz 等应用的部分功能，都在使用 Flutter 来进行开发。每天在全球各地都会有上亿的用户使用我们 Flutter 开发的功能。而且这些功能的体验实际上是非常流畅的，非常接近于原生，所以这也得到了用户的喜爱。同时呢，由于 Flutter 的研发效率非常的高，所以呢，也得到了我们工程师的青睐。大家都认为使用 Flutter 这种使用自旋引擎进行跨平台的解决方案，实际上是非常有潜力的。为什么这么说呢？我们可以先来看一下 Flutter 的架构。对，因为 Flutter 的架构其实不同于以往的跨平台解决方案，它的分层实际上是非常简洁的，层数并不多，所以这就意味着它并没有在 Bridge 上有过多的性能损耗。同时，得益于使用了 Dart、AOT 以后变成机器码的运行方式，它整体的运行效率是非常高的。可以说 ，Flutter 是目前性能最好的跨平台解决方案。而且，由于 Flutter 使用了自旋引擎，所以它的 UI 都是自己绘制的。这就意味着它的跨平台一致性实际上是非常出色的。基本上每个开发人员只需要掌握 Flutter 这一种开发语言，就可以无障碍的在安卓与 iOS 两个平台上来进行开发，不需要有过多的，不需要再学习过多的 native 的开发技巧。所以它这就使我们的研发效率能够得到非常显著的提升，至少到百分之三十以上。如果是一些 UI 很重而且 native plugin 比较少的这些。页面，它的研发效率提升可以高达百分之七十，这其实是非常可观的。正是由于优秀的性能体验、出色的平台一致性以及非常显著的研发效率提升，所以 Flutter 在我们公司也越来越受欢迎，得到了很多工程师的喜爱。有非常多的工程师都愿意后面继续在 Flutter 上来开展工作。当然 ，Flutter 作为一个新的技术，实际上也有它的一些呃困难。我们在使用过程中也遇到了一些挑战。
，比如说新的语言、新的编程思想，确实会有一定的学习成本以及接受成本。还有一些非常极端的场景下，其实 Flutter 的性能体验可能比与原生相比还略微有一点差距，以及 Flutter 的社区生态以及开源生态，我们觉得还可以进一步的提高。当然，这些问题我们也相信在不远的将来，实际上都有机会去解决，因为毕竟 Flutter 现在实际上正像一个婴儿一样，它正目前它正在走向它的青壮年的时期，所以我们还是非常非常看好它的潜力的。最后我想说的是，字节跳动，字节跳动呢，其实作为一家非常年轻的公司，我们对新技术的接受程度是比较高的，而且呢，我们公司又是一个发展业务发展很快的公司，所以我们非常希望能有新的技术出现，帮助我们去显著的提升我们的产品研发效率。我们非常期待 Flutter 就是这样的一个技术。所以呢，我们后面也希望能有与 Flutter 的官方团队、Flutter 的社区以及在座的小伙伴们能有更多的交流沟通的机会。好，谢谢大家。谢谢。So every week we see new apps and stories come through, and we love that. If you're building an app, please let us know. Here are a few apps that stood out to me the last few months that I just wanted to kind of share with you. So the Bikey A Plus app made 15 or and more than 15 pages actually on their、uh, application with Flutter, and that's the one over there on the left.、Um, and they saw a lot of improvements there. The 360 app was developed in Flutter in just one month with only two web designers, and they previously had no experience with iOS or Android development. And the web novel team、uh, also developed four secondary pages with Flutter in about 10 days. They already had 30 Dart files written and some workable code. Um, a few more examples are the、uh, Kuaying app, uh, which uh, was used heavily with Flutter,、um, and they、uh, said that they had a lot of custom parts of it that Flutter made it easier for them. The Ella.me app、um, also helped them slash in half their development time. You do speak、um, also a build a study achievement page with Flutter, and finally, Rainway is actually a game company, and they had all of their PC games, and with Flutter, they actually converted them to run on iOS. Um, so I thought that was a cool story as well. So one company that's very popular throughout Asia is Grab.、Um, so I'd like to introduce YB, senior engineer,、um, to share their story. Uh, thank you, Martin. Uh, 大家好，我是毕大为。呃，是 Grab 外卖商家端 App 的开发负责人。今天很高兴，呃，在这里有机会和大家一起分享我们跟 Flutter 的故事。那么说到 Grab， 大家可能有些陌生。呃，我们的主要市场是在东南亚地区。那么一般我们跟国内的朋友介绍我们自己的时候，就是我们是东南亚的滴滴、加美团、加支付宝。呃，那么如果大家今天去东南亚，呃，旅游的话，比如曼谷、新加坡、巴厘岛，那么就会看到每天有很多的人在使用我们的轿车、外卖以及支付的这些服务。那么我们那边在那边打车的特点就是，我们是一口价，然后还可以支持现金支付，所以即使对于旅游的人来说，也是蛮方便、蛮安全的。那么我们使用 Flutter 开发的外卖商家端 App， 呃，已经在途中这些呃圆圈的这些地区已经上线一年多。那么回到一呃二零一八年年初，我们的外卖业务刚刚在东南亚起步，当时我们面临很多强大的对手，我们当时还没有自己的外卖商家端应用。呃，所以我们急需在最短的时间内上线我们自己的应用，所以我们决定选择一种跨平台开发技术。那我们呃尝试了 React Native 和 Flutter。那么经过比较，我们发现 Flutter 无论是在开发效率还是在呃性能上都很有吸引力，所以我们决定尝试使用这种新技术。那我记得当时我们在泰国上线第一版的时候，还是 Flutter 的 0.5.8 版本。那么，呃，当时还有一些团队，我们公司内部的一些团队选择了 React Native。那么，经过一年多的实践，我们最终达成共识
呃，就是今后在我们公司内部会逐渐用 Flutter 来替换掉之前所有的 React Native 应用。那随着我们的业务在东南亚的不断的扩展，我们的项目也越来越越来越大，呃，我们开发的成员也变得越来越多。我们发现我们面临的最大的问题是，呃，如何有效的进行状态管理，以及多个模块的并行开发。那么我们当时注意到了咸鱼团队推出的 Fish Redux， 它实际上是很有效的解决了呃业务解耦以及分支的问题。然后我们再结合 Provider 等一些插件，呃，现在已经实现了北京、新加坡、雅加达、呃西雅图还有班加罗尔，我们多个研发中心、多个团队的并行开发，并且保证了我们代码的风格的一致性。那么 ，Flutter 不但在 UI 层面和业务逻辑层面实现了跨平台化，那么它也可以实现一些特定平台的功能，比如这台橙色的机器，大家看的可能有些眼熟，因为在国内的一些餐厅现在经常可以看到，它实际上来自一家上海的智能商用设备公司。那我们在做外卖的这个过程中，很需要这个打小票的功能，所以我们自己编写了插件，来调用。这台机器的打印功能很好的实现了我们的 App 跟这台设备的集成。呃，随着我们的业务的扩展，这台机器现在也出现在了越来越多的东南亚国家的餐厅里面。那么，呃，以上就是我们 Grab 和 Flutter 的呃使用 Flutter 开发在东南亚外卖市场上后来居上的故事。呃，感谢谷歌的 Flutter 团队做出了如此出色的框架。呃，同时也要感谢包括闲鱼在内的众多 Flutter 社区的开源项目的开发者们。呃，祝愿 Flutter 社区蓬勃发展，谢谢大家。So, I mentioned our community, and we love it when. Everyone in the community contributes back,、um, and we've seen a lot of this in China. And one example is Alibaba, which has、uh, written three basic libraries and open sourced them for everyone to use. And they actually have a talk tomorrow, so I highly encourage you to check that out as well. Also, you can find Flutter-related news and articles on our official GitHub channel.、Um, we also have a We WeChat、uh, official channel, and we have a website, Flutter.cn, which is a China-specific Flutter website.、Um, so these are some good resources for you. Now I want to finish up with something really exciting that happened earlier this year. It was a contest we launched called Flutter Create. Now this contest was meant for developers to build something with Flutter using less than five kilobytes of dark code. Just to give you perspective, I see many of you in shock. That's less than half a second of an MP3 file. It's incredibly limiting. But even though we had this limitation, we saw some incredible results. Let's take a look at a video to show you some of the apps that were submitted through this contest. And our grand prize winner is actually a developer from Shenzhen, China. He's sitting right here. He taught himself Flutter just weeks before the deadline, and made this Compass app that won him the grand prize. Zebiao is sitting in the audience today here in the front row. Thank you for inspiring us all and sharing your story with us. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! 
And there's an article you can read that shares a little bit more about this story. But beyond the winning app, as you can tell, there were a ton of apps submitted, and we saw some really cool stories out of those. So here are some of the other winners from the contest. Um, the one that developed the piano app actually code lab their entry before the contest even ended. So they wrote a tutorial on how you also can write a piano app using Flutter. And I think that really speaks to the values of the Flutter community, that it's all about sharing and uh, inspiring others. And you know, I ha had a story where a team was asking for a week's vacation just to work on this competition, and someone else had told me that their submission turned into a full-time job. So it's really incredible to see this impact, and we hope to run something similar like this in the future. Um, and if we do, please pay attention because, again, the next winner could be you. So we have three other Flutter sessions coming up today and tomorrow. Um, so we hope that you can attend those as well. Uh, we'll also be at the Flutter Sandbox. Uh, me and all the partners that spoke today are very thrilled to be here to also be able to speak with you and an ask and answer any of your questions. So please come talk to us. And we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. Shishia.